As far as I can remember, Mum and Dad both worked very hard. Always have, and uh, they expected the same from the children. And so when the war was finally over, and um, you know, I myself must have been about 12 or 13 at the time, we landed in Auckland, New Zealand. Now I was walking with my sister and we were walking along the road and looking in windows and talking together. And then we saw this young man across the road and he had a, a pair of those plus four pants that said they wore that, those three quarter pants. And I said to my sister, I said, I bet he's a Dutchman. And so she said, let's talk loud in Dutch <laughs> and see what happens, which we did. And sure enough, he came across the road and he said, are you two ladies from Holland? And obviously he must have liked what he saw because he wanted to take me out. <laughs> when I was 19, Bob and I got married and we started our own family, eight children all together. So you can imagine that it was a busy time, but um, it was very satisfying. I would say those first 10 years were very hard because uh, it was hard on me and it was hard on Bob, but we, were, we had our shop and we had our family, so you just work hard and make the most of it. What we show our children, and if we follow it through with our own lives, children do pick up on parents. They, they don't say much, but they often see enough and hear enough to know what's going on in our lives as well as in their lives. When, when Bob was about um, probably going on for 60, must have been about 58, 59, when he said, Mum, I want to retire. And I said, and then what? What are you going to do then? Well, I just want to go and, and see, you know, and talk to people in Australia and over in New Zealand and everywhere. You know, he, he sort of went out and he just went to talk to people on the street, on the street corners and tell them about the goodness of God and that he had proved God and he had a big family and everything was well. And he thoroughly enjoyed that. Even later on when he became sick, he used to say, I'm so thankful that I had that time talking to people on the street about the goodness of God and um, how God has helped him and showed him things to do. And so eventually my husband passed away and uh, it was a hard time in my life because I'd, he'd always been on my side there. Um, he was nearly 70 and he had worked hard all his life. He'd immigrated from Holland and he'd worked hard here, brought up a big family. We'd had about seven businesses and here he was on his sick bed and he could take nothing with him. Nothing. The way he came, the way he went. And I thought then, Lord, um, why do people worry about all the worldly things? They only hear for a, a season and then it's all gone. And one day we will all have to face the Lord and the Lord will say, what have you done? What have you done? And when I saw him leaving this world, that touched me so greatly. All our lives, he said, draw nigh unto me and I will draw nigh unto you. And so I have always tried to do that. Whenever there are circumstances that I do not know how to handle, I will draw nigh to the Lord. And time and time again, I can stand you know, with surety that he hears the cries of our heart. If we obey him and do what his will is, he sure will, you know, look after us and guide and lead us in life. And, um, you know, I'm 82 now and I, I just thank the Lord that I'm still here and that he can still use me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Young and thanks for watching Life TV. We're posting new stories and episodes regularly, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay up to date.